Nelson Pryor and I teach acrylic paintings for the beginner step by step so you can follow along with me in real time. And today I'm going to show you how to paint this beautiful flower and flower pot. It came second in my voting for my subscribers on YouTube and they decided that this would be the second one. Most of the votes came in for the owl which is uh, it's up now and um, so let's get started painting. Now all you need for this painting is the colors of red, yellow, and blue as your primary colors, and white and black, so and some brown and green. So if you have the burnt umber, sap green, ultramarine blue, cad red and cad yellow, um, that will be good, but you can use whatever you want to use, whatever colors you have there, as long as you got your primary colors and some brown and green and white and black, that would uh, be all you would need. And the brushes that you need, that would be nice to have, would be a flat brush, synthetic, or nylon, or sable, whatever, nice, see how shiny the, and it springs back, see how shiny they are, and a filbert brush, and you might say what sizes, well like I say, the sizes could be uh, different brands have different sizes, so as long as they work for your canvas that you're working on. If I work on 11 by 14, I'll use fairly small brushes. And if you have a bigger nylon brush, it's probably a size 12 or so. Like I say, it's uh, different sizes for different brands and a bristle brush. And bristle brush will help you move your paint much easier and better and uh, that's the brush that I use with my name on it if you want one of those and I'll also leave a link down uh, below in the descriptions in case you want to go to my Amazon shop and um, pick up some of those filberts and a few brushes that I use so I will get started on the painting now first of all we'll decide where we're going to have our table so I'm going to tape it off with my handy dandy painter's tape and I'm going to pick a spot where I want my table so I'm just going to lay that there I think that should be good so we'll get started on this painting and I want to decide where I want the table so I'm just going to put a table down here to lay that pot on there and so this canvas here is a little bigger that's 11 by 14 this one is a 9 by 12 okay so um, what we'll do first is we will paint the bottom of this you can have it black you can have whatever color you want long or dark color so if you like that dark color look so take out your one inch bristle brush or any bigger brush to uh, put your paint on and just put on some black paint down here just so we can have a dark background sort of gives it that renaissance look <laughs> and if you don't want pure black you can certainly add blue add a little shine to it you don't want pure black so you can add color to it if you like you don't have to be pure flat black probably wouldn't uh, would look much better with some blue added to it there we go that didn't take long did it that's all you have to do for your bottom now take off your tape there we go and we will start the top of the canvas. So we'll use the same brush. Now for the background we can also take some black and we'll put more blue in it this time. I'm just going to go up and down. You can put it on whatever way you want. Get it down here. We'll make it a little lighter down on the bottom here. So maybe we could add some black some blue, a little bit of white, so that we can have 
distinguish between the table and the background. Okay, some more blue. We'll just get that bottom part done first so we can, like I say, so that we can see the difference between the table and the background. Okay, good. Let's just get some of that in there. Now, if you're finding your bristle brush is not working for you, you can also use your big uh, synthetic brush, this one here, chisel edge. That way you can get, get a close to the edge here. It'll be much easier for you. Okay. There we go. So we want to get it so that you know the table is uh, not as light as the background. So I'm going to add some more blue. Now I'm going to add some more black and some more blue. Black and blue. And go up and down. And I'm going to transfer to my bristle brush. I do find that the synthetic brush doesn't move the paint as good as I would like it, okay? So I'm going to transfer to my bristle, but you can use whatever brush you want as long as it's big enough to put on your paint. And as long as the paint, but see how much better that moves? You notice it yourself. So take your a good learning lesson for you because you might be trying to put on paint sometime and you'd be like, how come that won't move? And it could be your brush. Bristle brushes move the paint really, really good. So I'm going to keep adding a bit more blue just to see. Isn't that nice? Can you see that? There we go. Just working with a bit of black and blue for now. You can also add other colors after. Right now, I'm just going to get a black and blue background. And I'm going to go up and down to get those kind of stripes almost, you know, you could see, you can see the stripes almost there. Up and down. Like I say, you can have whatever background you want. As long as it's got a nice little darkness to it, so that the flower will stand out. Good. Okay, more blue. Don't take long to do backgrounds. Backgrounds are pretty simple. See? So you got a bit of... Now we're going to add a little bit of color to that. So add a, take your dirty brush, if you like, and add a bit of red. And Now while that's wet, try to keep it wet, okay? And we'll add a little bit of red to it, just to give it some color. See that? A little bit of white. Yeah, I give it a purplish, reddish color. There's all these little colors going on there, up and down, up and down. Get more red if you want it. Those little streaks of red look really, really nice. See that? Hopefully you can see that because it looks brighter um, in real. The, the video may show it not as nice and bright. Kind of like the red. I'm going to add a bit more red maybe over here. There we go. Just putting on a little bit of red. Some more blue. Streaks of blue. So, now we get some color going on there. See, isn't that pretty? Now you can add any other colors you want. And I'll leave that I was thinking maybe a little bit of green might be nice. I'm not sure. Well, let's try it anyway. Can't hurt too much. Let's put a little bit over here. There we go. That's pretty. A little bit here. I'm sort of just throwing in a few streaks. I'm not doing very much. Just these streaky backgrounds. 
yeah that's nice okay well I'll leave that at that and you can decide what you want for your background but that's how I did that one now here's the pot that I'm going by just want to have my house see isn't that cute well, when I seen it I said oh that might make might make a nice painting there we go and that's the top that's the leaves so hopefully we can get that to look something like that and there's the painting that I did so there we go so you can do that in your house too you can look around for some pots some pots or some flowers that you have around or some pictures that you took and try to paint them and uh, see what happens you know it's uh, just a fun project to do now when your background is dry take a piece of chalk and draw out your pot so I can send you a pattern if you're finding it hard to draw it out yourself but let's decide where how big we want our pot so maybe here with chalk at least if it's not it looks doesn't look good then we can always change it let's just take that and draw a line from here to here good and then the line on the bottom will be smaller so we'll just take a little mark see where we think it might go and maybe we'll do it a little bit see if you can make you can fix your mistakes I might make it a little there we go let's try that and then a line over and then we'll join up these lines here there we go and take that one and come down to meet up with that there we go a little crooked but we'll fix it up as we paint it so we'll put a little top on there make a little dot out on this side and on this side and we'll come over again and then we'll join that down here now that looks a little crooked there so we'll fix it so with chalk is great because you can make adjustments so just take it out with your damp brush good and then just take your chalk and bring it down like that now we got a pot now for our pot color let's take let's see let's see some blue take a bit of blue I'm just using my uh, synthetic brush right now to see how that works and some brown it's almost equal amounts and some red and some yellow now we may need to adjust those colors so we'll add a little bit, a little bit more blue a bit more brown so we get the color you you might say well how do you know what colors to put together well just keep mixing the colors together to see what they look like let's try that much for now just put that on there see it's a nice color let's get some more paint if we need it there we go and those chalk lines will come off when we're ready
There we go, keep doing that. Mix your colors again if you need them. Good. Keep it going. So you can adjust your colors if you don't like that color. You can always put another color over it. Now. Just keep putting your colors on. Don't worry too much if it doesn't look perfect at first because you have to make adjustments after. Good. I'll put a little bit on top there. Keep that line there so you know where the darker shade goes. And it's good that your colors are not going to be exactly the same because it will give the pot an old look to it. So I'm just going to add a bit more yellow. And add that to the center here. I'm trying to get a kind of an old looking pot. There we go. We'll make some adjustments in a little while. Good. Just put paint over paint. Just layer your paint. Now we got that much done. And we'll get it to shape up there now in a minute. Just add a little bit of black to your dirty brush just so we can get that little part in here separated. So a little bit of black added to your dirty brush. Put a little shadow in here. Separate that. Here we go. So we can lighten up the center of it there by adding a bit of yellow to our mixture that we used for our pot. We just add more yellow and we will bring over some yellow. Good. We we'll blend that in a little bit. see now wet your brush don't need any more paint just wet your brush so we can just sort of blend that in there okay and I'm painting across because it uh, gives it a nice texture. Now let's get some brown and some blue and a little bit of black. Brown and blue, blue and black. And we will find some shadows. Let's just put some here. Drag that over into there. There we go. All 
All right, set side. And I will do the other side with a bit of black and a bit of brown because the other side I think I'm going to make a shadow um, and light be um, maybe on this side over here on the right. So we'll leave that a bit lighter on that side. And the other side we'll make it a little darker by adding brown and a little bit of blue and some red. Experiment with your three those colors I told you about. Touch and pull over, touch and pull over. You get better texture if you do it that way, okay? Touch and pull over. It's because we're trying to get that old weathered look. There we go. Clean off your brush. No paint, just clean your brush. You're still using the same brush, synthetic. Just touch that and pull it over. Blends in with the rest of it. There we go. Now I'm going outside the lines, which I shouldn't be doing. See? So, I'm just going to add a bit of. Uh, my clean it up on that edge there. Just go in with the background. So you have to do some adjustments. And I want to show you, you know, I don't want to make the adjustments and not let you see what I'm doing. So I want to show you that. So we're getting there. Now it's coming out pretty nice. You might want to do other things with it, but that's your basic idea of making that pot. Um, the main colors that I used for that pot was your brown and your yellow. Yes, your brown and your yellow and your blue and your red. And I'll, I'll put that down in the description so you'll know what colors I use for that pot. And you keep working with those colors and you'll get some really nice old grayish looking color and then you can add the glazes on top of it and it'll make it really pretty. So I'm just going to mix a little bit of black and blue and brown. Still got that grayish look to it but I'm going to try a little bit of white to brighten it up a little bit because I want to Make sure I got some shadow over here, you know, because we're trying to decide where the light is and where the shadow is. All right, and it would be shadow on this side if the light is coming in on that side on the right. So we want to keep some shadows. So it's a little bit of work to this pot, but. If you can find an easier way, you go right ahead. But you know what? Even if you don't use all this, these techniques, you can still learn and have some fun with them. So I'm gonna, that part is, in my opinion, is what I'm going to just keep it at there now. So I think, oh yeah, I think I'll leave it at that. Just lots more you can do. But I think I kind of like that. We need a little bit of highlight up here. You see that up there? Let's do that. Let's add a little bit of a glaze. Our bright glaze and we will add that to the edge here just to brighten it up a little bit because we don't want to lose what we have underneath there so it'll just brighten it up a little bit and you get to keep you get to keep it if you need a couple of glazes over it let one dry if you ever if you want to do glazes make sure that the glaze that you did first will dry before you go ahead and add more glazes on top of it, okay? So that's about that. And finger painting today, look at that. All right, good.